Yo, dog. Welcome back to my Let's Play Soul Blazer Blind. Uh, last time we made it uh, here, went up the little teeny tiny elevator, and uh, let's see what we got over Shmia. Uh Yeah, I'm actually glad that I liked uh, the game like off the bat. I don't know. Well, it's a nice, uh, or it's like it's refreshing because like I just got done playing Beyond Oasis, and I thought that like that game was like supposedly like good. Like I had high hopes about it, but then I ended up not enjoying it that much. Whereas, like, this game I was kind of iffy about, and this game's actually better than I thought it was going to be, so... So it's nice to, uh... Uh, Thomas released a goat, okay. Uh, hello. So it's nice to, uh, to be pleasantly surprised, uh... By liking a game that, uh, like, more than you thought you were going to. Especially since I'm... Especially since the, like, the little bit I had heard about this game is that it was kind of like a pain in the ass to, like, play. I mean, I don't know. Well, I am, like, an old-school gamer. So maybe that makes it so, like, certain things I'm more w willing to overlook than other people. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think they mentioned that, like, your sword range was, like, pitiful. It's like, yeah, but have you seen the one in Lagoon? Like, Jesus Christ, man. You're basically attacking with, like, a butter knife that's, like, half the length. You hear some light snoring coming from inside the house. Whereas, like, with, uh, Legend of Zelda 2, like, your sword is also, like, very short, but it seems like, um, but, like, you can, like, with, like, practice, you can, like, get good, and it's, it, and it's, like, fine. But in Lagoon, like, your sword was just, like, so pitifully small. Oh my gosh, don't walk into the freaking thing. Oh my gosh, it was a huge one. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but even though the, the sword is short in, uh, in, a, what do you call it, Adventures of Link or whatever, it didn't seem, like, once you get good at the game, it didn't seem like a detriment versus the sword in Lagoon it seemed like a detriment for, like, the whole game. But I'm pretty sure he had other ways to attack, too, I think, right? I don't know. It's actually been a while since I played that. I mean, it's like it was, like, relatively... Like, relatively recently, but still, like, a, like a while back. Well, I've been Let's Playing for so long... That, like, even a game I Let's Played, like, two years ago... Is relatively... Is relatively recent versus a game I played, like, six years ago, you know? So I sort of have the games, like... Like, the... Like, the, like categorized, like, in my mind... Where there was like, like, like the games of that era. Like I played a lot since then, but I also played like way more prior to that. So like, relatively speaking, all right. How many more of these guys do we got? Yeah, I just don't want to take like a stupid hit from these guys. God damn it! Wait, why did that? I feel like that second hit shouldn't have counted. Alright. So in terms of, like, percentages or whatever, like, I played Lagoon, but then, like, 80% of my games were played, like, before then. So even though I played, like, 20 or, or more games, I don't know, like, am I explaining this properly? Probably not. Release tool shop owner's son. Oh, is he gonna give me a different item? Well, you get you get what I'm saying, though, right? Like, I played, like, a bajillion games between this one and Lagoon, but then I also played, like, a super-duper bajillion, like, more games before I played Lagoon. So, like, relatively speaking, it's recent, even though it is, like... Even though I did play it, like, two years ago or something like that. Yeah, actually, I um, I started uploading. I talked about this uh, in my Sunset Riders Let's Play. I started uploading all my videos to uh, to Umble Ray. Uh, I can't say the name. YouTube does not like it when you speak the name of their competitors. But uh, I started uploading videos to that to that place, and um. I released another tulip, okay. 
Does it do anything? You know, was there another way I could have gone, by the way? I kind of feel like I should go back. Was there another path I could have gone? I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, so I started at, like, my oldest videos. And, uh... Oh, there was another thing. Okay. So I started at my oldest videos and just started uploading them, like, one by one. Starting with, like, my oldest playlist with, with, with you know, like, the first, um, like, the very first game I'd ever played. So I guess my point is that, um... So I've been, like, working my way through my playlists. So, like... So, like, my old... Like, my super-duper, like, old... Uh, games or whatever, like, like the games that are like the furthest back in my uh, backlog, catalog or whatever. I don't know, backlog is not the right word. Catalog, you know what I mean, right? The games that I let's play the longest ago have been like kind of on my mind recently since I had to like go to them to upload them to Grumble minus the G. Boy, this is really like precarious, by the way. Okay, shoot, Jesus. God damn it. After doing a second one, I should not be surprised if there's a third one. Luckily, I stand here. All right. A fourth one? I did not think that they would put one in that corner or whatever. All right. I mean, I know that four corners make sense, but it's like, well, they weren't really, like, only three was like a corner. The fourth one wasn't like a real corner. Or at least another goat. Okay, cool. So are we gonna, is it gonna be like Dark Cloud 2 where we get like a thing for, um, for like restoring it like fully? I always thought that was kind of cool. That was like, you get like a, I forget what you get, but you get like an extra bonus for like rebuilding the, uh, the areas like fully. And then people have like little, uh, like prerequisites where it's like, oh, I want my house to be next to like a greenhouse. Or, you know, like, a house that is, like, painted green. That's what I meant. Not a not a greenhouse. So then you have to, like, put a house down, and then you can, like, paint it green. Or whatever. Then, like, once you meet, like, everyone's conditions, then you get, like, an extra bonus thing. What, like, what was it? Was it, like, in, like, you get something that, like, increases your, like, max health or something. So it's something that, like, makes it, like, worth it to, to go to the trouble to do. Okay, so that's taking me, like, backwards. Oops. I wonder if the uh, if the lack of map is going to become a problem. I should probably go back since I'm like going like back anyway. I should walk all the way back and grab a heal, and then we'll go uh, we'll go and proceed some more. Oh my gosh, I have to run through this area too. Also, there's a treasure down there that I don't seem to be able to get to just yet. We'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, let me just uh, run back and I'll heal and uh, save, and we'll keep going. Okay, I figured while I'm here, I might as well, uh, I was gonna say talk to the people, but I cannot. No, I just saw that this ivy uh, vine thing is uh, over here. The dream rod you possess is a magical stick that enables you to look into dreams. You put the stick when you wish to speak with someone who is sleeping. Wait, do I actually have that? Apparently I do. Uh, is this a one-time use thing? It's in my items, so yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I could have used my uh, medical thing instead of walking back. But uh, from where I was, it actually didn't take that long to walk back, so it's fine. Hey, you look like you would be good at crab walking. Try it. You don't know how? Just walk while pressing either the L or R button. Wow, you actually have, like, a different animation. That's kind of funny. Uh... Not sure why you'd want to do that. Oh, it's so that you could, like, back up. You could probably, like, back up while attacking. Without having to, like... Like, when you're backing up, you would normally, like, swing in the opposite direction. It's so that you can keep... Uh... It's so that you can, like, keep attacking in, like, one direction while moving in other directions. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I'm already... I can already tell I'm gonna be, like, struggling with the buttons for a while. 
Place the Dream Rod on the girl's head. Okay. Uh, Daddy, where are you? Wow, really? Your entire dream is you just, like, sitting here, wondering where your dad is? In this, like, room? <laughs> A voice full of sadness came from somewhere. Lisa, you must tell everything that you know to the person in front of you. You'll also need my paintbrush to continue on. What? Daddy, is that you? Where are you, Daddy? I miss you so much. There was no answer. Aw. Where are you? Why am I here? Uh Who's she gonna wake up now? Oh my, who are you? Get out of my house! Uh No, oh, you're gonna give me the thing. Oh, okay, I was about to say, I thought they were gonna give me a freaking thing. Sorry. Uh, wait, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Please come back and listen to my story. I had a very strange dream. It was about my father and someone who looked just like you. My father told me to give the, his paintbrush to you and tell you all I know. So why did why did your father talk to me when I stepped on a button in your dream? Uh, the brush is all I have left for my father. I hid it somewhere. When you come back to me with that brush, I will tell you all I know. Oh, so I have to go out and find this stupid paintbrush? Okay. Maybe it was in that one uh, treasure. Maybe now I can access it now that uh, the path like got... Uh, like go from the side. Now that that path got like opened or whatever. Yeah, what do the goats uh, do? I wonder why people live in, uh, in such small houses. Can you believe the village chief was swallowed up in one of the paintings in the house on the hill? I'm known among my friends uh, as something of a gourmet goat. I will only eat food sold at the tool shop. Uh... Well, I mean, you say that, but it's like, well, if it was either that or starve, I'm pretty sure you'll drop the act real freaking quick, dog. Oh, we got another vine here. What is this lead? Oh, I already was here. Okay. Also, I did not get healed this time. You probably get healed when you go to, like, that, uh, like, that, uh, that, like, futuristic -y area. The, uh, the blue tile or whatever. So I should probably do that before I go. Let me just do it now before I forget. Oh, you get healed as soon as you step into it. Okay. So are we not going to get any explanation about, like, what this place is? Like, what is, like, what is this? And why are we here? Also, is something going to happen to let me go, like, over here to the right? Okay, so let's check, uh, Tool Shop's son. I'm helping my mother. Would you like to buy some goat's food? You want to know how much it costs? Well, how about one billion dollars? One billion dollars plus tax. Teddy, I'm sorry. I will give it, uh, to you for free. Why do you say Teddy? Received a bag of goat's food. Wow. So it's probably just, like, regular goat's food. But they're like, they just convinced him that it's like fancy or something. Oh yeah, some food from the tool shop. I promise to tell you a secret if you'll give me the food, okay? Thank you, I will tell you a secret. If you wish to get inside the painting, you must equip an item which used to belong to the painter and touch the painting. Okay, well. I mean, I could have guessed that, but it's nice to have it like said to me. Like explicitly in case I didn't uh, figure it out. Uh, well, I have other things to attend to, so I will see you later. Yeah, I'll never say no to an obvious hint. Because, like, what's an obvious hint this time? There could be something equally obvious in some other game that I, like, don't, like, figure out on my own. Huh. Okay, so is it in my, uh... Is it in my, uh, thing or whatever? Oh, he's actually going to the, uh, blue shop on his own. Hey, give me my food! Wow. You're just entitled to their food? Okay, cool. Oh, I have a defense now, too. I have a shield. And I'm level 3, also. I have an armor, apparently. Where did I get this from? I don't remember getting this. 
I do actually have it. Uh, I don't know if it does anything. If I give him more food, will he uh, do something else? Uh, none of the buttons give him the food, okay. Okay, well, I just want to, like, take it off. Just so that I don't have it on. Uh, okay, are we, uh, done? Back as we go? Are we ready to go back? I wonder if the whole game is gonna be like this, or if this is just, like, one area, and there's gonna be, like, six of them. Like, each one of these, like, towns could, like, could, like, represent, like, a world. Or, you know, be the, be this game's equivalent of, like, a world in the game, you know? And we got, like, several of them. Uh, okay, so I wasn't able to go here last time. I made a save state at the top of the elevator, by, uh, by the way. Okay, so we got the brush. I was right. This was the, uh, the chest that got revealed in the, uh, dream. Or the chest that got, uh, that, like, the path got opened to or whatever. Oh, so you hold your sword in front of you? Does that mean you can, like, hurt guys by touching them with it, I wonder? I released an old man. Okay. That is weird how it says an old man, but then, like, a house appears. I was expecting, like, an actual man to appear. Because there was that one time where it said an old man, and it was literally an old man. So it is kind of weird when it says an old man, but then it's like a house. It's like, well, that old man looks a lot like a house, so what the heck, game? Oh man, I got hella gems, I just now noticed. Okay, so is there a better way to, like, aim your, uh, aim the, like, the fireballs or whatever? Oh, there we go. I wonder if he just always shoots towards the enemies, but he's always, like, circling you. So you still have to, like, time it, like, properly. Okay, so sticking your sword out does work, but it seems like it's, like, easier to get hit when you're doing that for some reason. Maybe not. I don't know. Is this actually feasible? Oh my gosh. Gotta sit here and get freaking harassed by these freaking torches. Okay, so I think it shoots in the direction you're facing, I think. Oh man, you can hit him with magic during their invincibility frames. That is cool. Also, the hitbox, or the hit detection is a bit generous, so that's nice also. Oh man, we got another uh, Kingle back thing, and we gotta have a second, uh, we have a second uh, shield also. Did I get the second one when I equipped the iron armor, I wonder? Uh, I, released it. I released another old man. You hear a man screaming inside the house. Ah, a ghost, a ghost. Okay, so that's probably the place with the painting, if I had to guess. Like, I gotta remember that the torches are essentially enemies. They, like, shoot at you. Okay, so if I go back... This is the heart of the underground castle. You may meet many monsters that cannot be defeated with that sword. You'll be able to save those creatures once you return with the correct sword. Uh, no, I'm gonna stay. I was just back there. We'll finish exploring, then we'll go back. Because once you go back, it starts you at, like, the very, very start, right? Like, you can't, like, I won't be able to teleport, like, back to that spot, right? Oh, we unlocked a shortcut. 
Yeah, I was pretty sure that uh, there was like a conveyor belt shortcut in the other area. I wasn't 100% sure. But like getting back to the elevator was like way quicker than I remember. And I don't remember... It was like a conveyor belt that I saw that I didn't remember, but it's possible that I just didn't rem remember it. So I couldn't say for sure that it appeared, because it might have been there, and I just like, I just might have like forgotten that it was there. Okay, well let me do one more like pass through in this area, just to make sure. Uh, okay, so that's a dead end. I already know that. This is a dead end, right? Okay, so I think we're good. Are we good to go back? I think we're good to go back. I think the next area we have to go to is that uh, painting area. Okay, let's check, uh, check out where we got, what we got here. I was gonna go back and save. I was like, there's a house in the place where the uh, save thing is. It is kind of weird how it, uh, the guy's, like, yard appeared, like, over the thing. Or, like, on the thing or whatever. Okay, what do we got? Since losing my wife to an illness, I noticed a goat hanging around my place. I was so lonely, I decided... Okay, Jesus, man. Keep the goat as a pet. Okay, well, what you two do is none of my business, but I just don't want to hear about it. I did see a video of a guy fucking a donkey once. I think the guy was standing on, like, a step stool. And it was kind of funny, because then when the guy came and like, and, like, showed the guy on camera, the guy, like, didn't even care that he was being, like, recorded. He just, like, he just, like, did the thing where he was just, like, ah, or whatever. He just, like, made, like, a face, like, ah, fucking this goat, ah, you know. Or it wasn't a goat, it was a donkey, I think. Yeah, I don't know why I said, oh, I said goat, because it, it was a goat right there. Uh, my name is Gaudi. I'm an architect. I built all the houses in this town. Come back later. I will show you something. Okay, so do I actually have to do that? That's the thing with these games, with these, like, goofy translations. Because, like, like, you can you can never, like, tell if something is, like, literal or if it's just, like, a like a translation thing saying a thing that you don't actually have to do. You remember Lisa's dream, right? Have you... Oh, excuse me. Return to the place you saw in her dream? Things may be different from when you saw her before. Okay, that's just hinting... Uh, that's just like my hints to uh, go and get the brush. There's a picture of the village chief in the painting. He appears to be sad. Uh, this was painted by Dr. Leo. A strange face has appeared. It's terrifying. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, also there is a thingy over here, but we haven't unlocked the uh, the vine or whatever. What's the difference between a vine and ivy? Uh, Leo's brush. Okay, why are there two of them? Shouldn't it be called Leo's brushes? Uh, Thomas is dragged into the painting! Oh, no. Uh, okay, we're inside the painting. And this is the world of the inside of the painting. It is nice that there is a uh, reward for like fighting the uh, the monsters. I don't know. There was in uh, Illusion of Gaia, also, but it felt like a chore to have to like go around and like hunt them. And then like your reward, like it, it gave you stats for uh, for doing it, but then it's like well it was sort of like required to like keep up with the uh, strength of the enemies. And I didn't know it at the start, in the very first dungeon, I, like, missed an attack up bonus thing. And then, like, once you leave the area, you, like, can't go back. So I, like, permanently missed an attack up item. Which then made the start of the game, like, almost impossible. Because later, there's a part where it's like, oh, you have to defeat, like, a whole bunch of enemies in, like, a certain amount of time. And because my attack was, like, weaker... Like, I almost, like, I had to try it, like, 50 times to, like, get it. Like, I had to do it, like, 100%, like, perfectly. Because I didn't have that little attack bonus or whatever. Like, the attack bonuses at, like, the start of the game are, like, way more important than they are, like, later. Because at the start of the game, getting an attack bonus is the difference between doing, like, one damage versus two damage. 
So getting that one attack bonus basically like doubled my attack and like the game like assumed that I had it. So like by not having it, my strength was like cut in half. So that part of the game, that like little section where I had to like kill the enemies within the time limit was like almost impossible to do. So I almost got like effed like right at the start of the game. Why does it look like this pillar is like sideways? See that? Looks like one of those like support column beam things. Boy, this is weird. It looks like a carpet, but it's like a conveyor belt. Oh, well, you know, we're actually at an episode. I should probably end it before I go two balls deep into this place. Actually, I should probably go back and heal also since I'm already almost dead. Yeah, nice try. See, they tried to lure me with the, uh, with the thing. It's like, well, if I step there, the dude's just gonna walk on top of me and hurt me. Yeah, I guess, um, I'll make a save state here. And, uh, next time we'll, um, we'll go further into this place. I'll go ahead and run back and heal so we can start here with, uh, full health. And, um, you know, I just noticed that the, like, the clouds are, like, moving by, like, super fast. Like, what's the... What's the dealio with that? Like, why are all the clouds in such a hurry to get to where they're going? Um, but to, anyway, yeah, like I said, I'll run back, heal, make a save state here so we can uh, go further into this place. And uh, I'm guessing we're going to go in, defeat a boss, and rescue that dude, I'm guessing. So um, I don't know what's going to happen then. Um, is there a story that I missed at the very start of the game that, like, explains, like, why we're just, like, doing what we're doing? Because the game just, like, threw me in with, like, no story. Like, I have no idea, like, like what's going on or why. But um, I guess it's not that important. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like the video before you go, and I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye.